hello in this tutorial I will show you how the constructor is working in class and object okay I add a class C so in C class fish as a string coral as a string depth as a integer so using the object I will use this data member or methods now object is required for accessing the this type of the data member or field so we are not first consider not using constructor what is a constructor so I will explain by using the constructor so first not use of the constructor so this is a defining the object okay if we can accessing the data member using the object like coral equal to pink color color fish has red color and depth is a 2000 meter you can say and message box showing the object name dot field name so these are the data members fish corals or you can say I using the object it will access so let's run so here is the red color pink 2000 so I here defining the pink red 2000 so red color so I fish here first so red clear appear first here and pink and depth so that's with no use of the objects okay oh sorry no use of the constructor now what is the use of the constructor so I define a new class C cons C constructor so that is I defining the same variables call but with one fish one coral one and that one this is a constructor defining so sub new keyword used for the constructor so fish color as a string color coral color is is string and c depth as an integer is passed through this function sub which is known sub new so this function this subroutines this sub is known as having keyword new is known as constructor we can pass this parameter to the fish one coral one and c depth depth one so, okay we pass this argument to the data members so what is the advantage of constructor hey, this is a constructor so every field is assigning here publicly so variable so what is advantage so let's click on use of constructor here is one advantage we can pass in single line all parameter So C cons have a constructor 
where I define C as no constructor, but C cons has this uh, constructor. So, so there is no uh, need to write the every variable like this one equal to being if I have hundred variable. So you, it is a very headache. It is a very headache to define the every variable equal to being equal to red equal to 2000 in every line so I in constructor using the constructor which is a special subroutine having new keywords here this is a constructor argument passed to the field member of data member of the class and we use this constructor we pass in one line single line okay so that's message box you can see here like a, you can write here green okay you can see yellow okay let's check how it constructor work green yellow color and 2000 because these values assigned to this assigned to this data member using the constructor using this function we can assign these values to this members okay in single line so this is using the constructor this is a without constructor having the C class which has nothing you can see here C class has nothing constructor C constructor has a constructor so C using the you can say equal to C class has no constructor and we use equal to the here we here pass through the object argument where we have defined the constructors so in simple manner uh, constructor you can say Okay, that's the concept behind the constructor. You can pass in one line uh, to the data members. Here we define the all variable equal to um, field's name. Here no need equal to write the uh, this constructor uh, protects or you can say constructor save the, these lines equal to lines. So this is advantage of the constructor we cannot write like this see this type of lines ok above lines so this is a behind in concept of the constructor and not constructor use of not constructor I had two class C constructor and C class so I define a function sub with hanging new keywords defining the constructor is defining here so please like and subscribe my videos thank you for watching